Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to me digging in my big bag. Let's do a bag haul. Let's see what's inside. Dude, it's embarrassing. I have like three of the same lipsticks in here. Why? Because I just forget I have it. And on, on the way out, I'm like, I, I need this one. You go and buy it from Sephora every single time you're in there. Mm. Bleep out the S word I just said. Oh, yeah, because our, our big deal. Yeah. Our big deal with Ulta. Our big Sephora collab coming soon. Or Ulta collab coming soon. Ulta? Ulta, Ulta, Texas. No, wait, it's Tulsa. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tulsa, Texas. Um, okay. Right. We'll start off strong. Why do some months have 31 days and others have 28? That's your starting off strong? Yeah. <laughs> Did you do any research for it? No, or why? You just want to talk about it? Why? I don't know, and I, I, I genuinely don't even know, like, why 365 days? Did that just sound good? I think that's because the rotation of, like, the earth around, like, Why couldn't it just go, like, be, like, two? Like, t that doubled. Like, why did that have to, like, end the year? Like... Wait, what? Like, because you're saying, like, because I'm, what I'm making comment on is I don't understand, like, time. Yeah. Like, why did we have to be like, all right, and then when that happens... The year is over and we're starting again. Oh, like, I see. Why, what you're why does saying. why does time have to be repetitive? Why can't we just have a new one every time? We kind of do get a new one every time. No, but like new months, like damn, they could only come up with twelve. Yeah, but like at a certain point, it just starts doing the same thing it did last year. Um, last night Drew abandoned me at a bar. Oh, also, we should clarify for our visual uh, listeners. Visual watchers? What do you call them? Like, what are you? Tuner inners. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. For the people who tune in visually, we are at the Happy 99 shop in New York because we're in New York. Um, we're and probably we have no locations to film and they graciously offered us a space. And you know what? When a good offer comes knocking at your door, you take it. When you get offered to be the, the first okay. and only people to do a podcast in the shop. The... The fucked up thing is like you just mentioning like take a good offer when it comes your way. Dude, I'm so annoyed I said no to this, but fucking Harry Styles asked me to open for his Madison Square Garden shows, all 10 of them. And I decided I was like, I don't know. I just I don't feel like it's the right fit for me. But like I I said no because I was nervous. I was scared. Truly, no, that's you're, what I was. you're an idiot. And guess what? Because of that, because you saying no to that. We have to take a moment for our sponsor. Bam. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. There are plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, like learning a new language or taking power naps. There's also BetterHelp Online Therapy. When I was back in Texas, I took a couple sessions um, because I was not feeling so well. I was talking to my parents and I just dredged up some sour dark thoughts and uh it was super convenient because i didn't have to go to an office or meet with someone that i didn't know i was just able to tap in get connected and it was just like a very seamless process and i talked to my therapist and it was very good for me yeah and i feel like now that we're kind of on the road we're not going to be home for a while having something like better help is perfect for that setup because you could pick up wherever you can find a comfortable space to have that time alone with yourself and a licensed professional and you can get ready for the game of life and experience it at the highest capacity possible our listeners get 10 percent off their first month at betterhelp.com slash intercom that's better com slash intercom That Wait, why? That was really smooth. Yeah, I know. I, I was know. impressed with that one. But you see how you just cut me off? You yeah. see how you made it not smooth? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see how I fucked it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ew, looking up and be like, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I see that. You're so stupid for not taking that I up. I know. I know. I deserve that. I deserve to be called stupid mm -hmm. because, like, that could have changed my life in a very big way. But, like, again, I was like. Did you just, did you, like, it's not that you felt, like, better than that, right? Like, why did you say no? Uh, yeah, it was, it was because I'm better than that. 
<laughs> I should I should have my own tin shows at Madison Square. Garden. Oh, okay. That see, like the, the the thing is, at this point, we could pack out ten nights at the Madison. I was about to say we could pack out like, uh, MSG. Yeah, we could pack it pack uh, it out simply. Like it would $100 be hundred dollar tickets. Yeah. No. If you'd come to our show at Madison Square Garden, let us know. <laughs> The 30 people who live in New York who watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go. Hi, um, but like I was saying. That Drew- would be hilarious. 30 people in the crowd <laughs> at fucking Madison Square Garden <laughs> and us on Dude, stage doing the this. The re- reverb of the sound in there, <laughs> since there's no human bodies to catch the vibrations, mm-hmm. would be insane. It would be so lit. What do sound checks there even sound like? Because it must be like an insane like. Also, I saw someone at this dance party thing. And like oh, a did bunch you? of them did had you? earplugs in. Like they brought their own like earplugs and they were nice. Like a bunch of people had like, I was like, damn, these are people who go to this kind of shit all the time. And want to keep because, their ears. They ha- yeah. And they had like ones that hung around their neck. Um, I'm, I'm about to start doing that shit. Same. Cause I am getting a little scared of like losing my hearing. That and like my ears hurt so fucking bad every time I go to a concert. Like it's so like annoying like when we were djing i was like dude this is loud as fuck oh my ears don't hurt because i'm an empath and i'm like used to listening oh yeah mm. so it's like mm-hmm. my ears just don't hurt from like hearing things. yeah do you ever need someone to talk to are you ever tired of no. just like being the ear for everybody else honestly i'm a bit of an egotistical kind of empath because i don't even believe that there is another empath as empathetic as me so it's yeah. like I, I find myself in this position where I'm like, who, well, who do I turn to? Mm-hmm. Because the best listener is right here. Yeah. So well, I, find, I mean, you can have inner dialogue with yourself now. Like you can talk to yourself. Yeah, but sometimes you want to use your vocal, like, yeah, like I want to, I want the vibrations of my voice. Talk to, to yourself send in a mirror. Shock waves to my soul. Into a mirror. Yeah, but that's bad for your like your inner child because you're looking at an adult you and you're supposed yeah. to be. T- you're talking as your inner child, and then you're like confusing yourself because you're like, oh my god, there's big me talking. It'll still work for you, Drew, because you're like 14. Yeah, mm-hmm. since you're only like no, well, he turned 16. I'm turning 17. Actually, I thought you so turned it's... 15 after you turned 16 for some reason. He ages rapidly. I thought you were going back. No, no, I'm about to be 17. Yeah, and then uh, when when he hits but, 18 he jumps back again yeah oh, I it's, see. yeah okay. see i revert back when i hit a certain age it's like this weird fucking thing and like it's like this health thing it's cool that your mental <laughs> oh I, I i know that it's a uh, benjamin button disease it's like it's half that so it's just basically they call it benjamin because i don't <laughs> age all the way back <laughs> oh it's called ben button ben butt <laughs> Ben butt disease. Ben's butt's disease. Um, like I've been trying to say, Drew abandoned me last night. We're in New York and we went to this bar and it had a photo booth and it was fun and slay. And <laughs> for, the, for the first 30 minutes, I, I actually tried my very hardest not to terrorize the vibe. You, you are a champ a because when I, I got there, I, you could tell that I could read your vibe and you immediately bounced out of it. Yeah, I was like, I wasn't terrorizing the vibe. I was just so tired. But like, I rallied. I did my thing. I got a fucking beer because I'm a straight man and I drink beer. He was cos- cosplaying straight like I I drank a night. beer at a bar last drank night. Drank a beer wearing an OPN hat. Yep. Um, what shirt were you wearing? A jackass shirt. Yeah, a jackass skull it was shirt. Very straight. No, behavior. literally every everybody that saw me was like, "Wow, you look very straight today." Yeah. Like literally, I got People like three saying compliments that? saying I look straight. Yeah, because at one point we did the thing where we went to fake kiss, and Elsie was like, "You can't, you can't do that when you look like that. It, it, it is so scary." It's very real looking. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll let you tell your side of the story, and then I'll tell mine. Um, so me and Josie were the only ones like really like taking in drinks because we're fucking crazy and my girl wanted to have a sleigh party night yeah i was like you know what i'll tap in with her Mm -hmm. um so we were like having drinks being stupid and like we had been there for honestly like way too long and we should have left forever ago but on the way out y'all started a new photo booth uh picture Mm. and or who did it? It was it Josie? Yeah, it was Josie and Elsie. Josie and Elsie got in the photo booth, but it was one of those like film photo booths, so you have to wait fucking seven minutes for it to print. Yeah. Um. So they did that on the way out, and then we were like, oh my god, like 
honestly, me and Josie were like, honestly, just get in the car because me and Josie kept being like, we want a city bike back. We want a city bike all back. All night home. long. Like, it's all we talked about. We were like, I want to get on a city bike. Yep. I want to get on a city bike. And it's because of my personality two nights ago i took a city bike home and it was like the most serene beautiful bike ride in my life so because i'm addicted to like good like feelings you being your wallflower having your wallflower moment it was also the most silent night on earth i genuinely think that me no and my friends were the only people like alive no one is talking about it but new york literally does sleep there <laughs> is like a time that new york sleeps yeah it's like there it's is it's after 10 time. p.m on the weekdays it sleeps yeah especially like i feel like in certain parts of brooklyn it literally like it's becomes- also like not that windy here for being the windy city for being the windy city this is not the windy city oh where are the orange trees kai what? like you've never been anywhere oh where's wait. all the sun and the heat wait do you think the windy city is california or florida what are you where's oh all the mountains and shit the mountain state like what are you saying what are you saying? Wait, it sounds like you don't know where the Windy City is either. The, the Windy Shitty, sh- the Windy Shitty, <laughs> Chicago. The, Chicago. the Orange City. <laughs> uh, Suc- I'm going to take Wait. you to Chicago. I'm going to take you to Chicago. <laughs> the Orange City of Florida. Holy shit. Like, I love when, think- <laughs> I love when y'all fight over me. Like, shit. I thought you said, I love women. And I was like, I love women. Everyone's been fighting over you. <laughs> I, lo- I feel oh, like New York, I feel like. I love a bunch women. of people have fought over you this trip oh, so far. I don't know how, but I have hoes out here. It's crazy. But <laughs> finish your story. We'll get into okay. that in a little bit. So, um, <laughs> I have to pull my pants down. They're like writing up my Go foot. lower. Go lower. You want me to take my pants off? Yeah. We'll blur it. Anyways, so I was like, me and Josie were like, we need to get on a city bike. We need to get on a city bike. And like, that was our main objective. So then when Drew called the car, we were like, what? And it was perfect timing, though, because the fucking film photos had to be like developed out of the photo booth. So me and Josie were like, oh, just go get in the car. We're going to like literally have another drink and wait for this and then go on a Granted, city bike. I was. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So we were like, whatever. And like, but somehow we like nothing was being communicated through any person. It was, crazy. It was like me and Josie fully understood each other's game plan. And Elsie and Drew had no idea what was happening. Is that really loud? No, no, it's fine. Sorry. The Transformers are outside. Yeah. Um, like the robot, like the big guys. Um, but no one for some reason on their end didn't know what we were doing and then i went outside and drew drew was like oh i'm calling another uber because that uber literally just fucking yelled at me i got into this <laughs> uber and he yelled at me immediately like I've, i haven't been yelled at like that since i was like a child like he like scolded me and he was i i like waved at him like and he sat there for like i'm not joking 15 seconds and then um, I had to cross. I had to wait for three cars across the street. One of them honked at him because he did stop in the middle of the street, and it was three cars. And so I had to wait for them to pass. And I walked and got into the car, and he yelled at me. And I was like, you know what? I don't need this. So I canceled and gave him his five dollars and called another Uber because I was mm-hmm. like, I can't ask him to wait any longer. Yeah. Um, um. So he got yelled at, and then he was like, "I'm calling another Uber," and I was like, "Okay." And like, I still didn't make it clear that me and Josie like were not planning on like getting back out. But you know what it was? Because I think there was a brief moment where I was like, "Damn, I'm like pretty drunk, and I don't know if I should be on a city bike." And then yeah. like, I went back in with Josie, and because I remember I like finished my drink really fast because I was like, "Dude, let's just go with Drew. Like, we'll ride city bikes another night." And like, we're like going fast, and I was like, "Fuck, I need water." Wait, so I like ran and like chugged a, a cup of water, and then we like we were like, "Oh my god, wait, where's the photo booth?" And we we're like, "The photo booth picture isn't there." They grabbed it. And we were like, "Oh my god!" And like, we ran outside, and it was the most deserted <laughs> I'd seen a street. Like, it literally looked like a tornado swept through and picked up all the cars and humans that were on that street. <laughs> like two seconds ago it was the deadest street i've ever seen i mean josie like literally we're like drunk and like hobbling like we're like true <laughs> did, y'all, did y'all city bike back no because then what, what happened? took y'all so long Dude, it's so stupid so then okay so we're like oh my god they left they're gone and we like looked around and we were like no they're fully gone like they're just not here and we were like oh fuck whatever so then I looked at the city bike. We walked to the city bike, like, like whatever. 
And like I pulled up there and then I went to go scan one. And then I was like, wait, I need water. And I was like, I'm going to throw up. I need water. I need water. So we like ran back into the bar because there was no delis open because it was literally the most dead street I've ever seen in my life. There's no delis on the street that were open. We were like, let's go get water. We ran in, chugged a bunch of water, and then we were like, all right, let's go. And we ran back to the city bikes. The second I took out my phone to scan it, my phone died. And I was like, oh, my God. And then Josie was like, I can get one. I can get one on mine. And took like 10 minutes figuring that out. And then I was like, oh, wait, I can use my card. You can use your card on these city bikes. So then I went and I was trying to like do it. And like I did the whole thing. And then the screen just restarted and it took me like 10 minutes to figure out how to use this fucking ye olden (laughs) machine. And then the screen just restarted. I was like, dude, this isn't happening. And we stood there for, I'm not kidding, like 20 minutes trying to figure it out. It took y'all forever to get home. Um, And then finally I was like, girl, this is not happening. My phone's dead. Yeah. I'm way too drunk to be on a bike. Like, we got to go home. And then we literally, like, hobbled to a corner. And Josie was like, I'll call an Uber. And I was like, okay. And then we just sat on the floor. And I was like, order McDonald's. Order McDonald's. And then he, he ordered McDonald's in a car. And then we went home. And then I almost threw up because I took a bunch of Drew's electrolyte powder and put it in water. Even though two days before in the morning when I drank some, I almost threw up everywhere. And then I had some when I got home and I was like, oh, I'm going to throw up. I need to go lay down. And I went and went to sleep. Okay. The story from my perspective, since you want to air my shit out. We were literally abandoned. You know what makes it worse? The reason we were so keen on waiting for the photo booth picture is was because your I, pulled, tits were all in I it. pulled my tits out in it. And then they, they took my tits home. These bastards took my tits home and left me behind. Yeah, and I hung them up on my wall. Did you did you tug? Like, what about it? Did you play tug of war with no, yourself? No, not yet. I will, though. Um, so from my perspective, we're at this bar. I'm the most tired I've ever been in my entire life. Like, easily the most tired I've <laughs> ever been. Which is also what Drew says every single night past 10 p.m. The city sleeps at 10 p.m. and so does Drew. Like, let me go. But I, my FOMO literally will not allow me I to know, stay I know. And then he's just, like, there, really like, this at the table, like, like staring like sleeping with my eyes open because i don't want people to know i'm actually tired so we play a round of pool i play with this weird fucking guy the weirdest guy i've ever seen in my life and he's like talking all this shit to me where he's like yeah like i'm i'm probably gonna beat your ass at pool and i was like yeah you're probably gonna beat my ass like he's like and i'm not like gonna have mercy and i was like don't have mercy just beat my ass Ew, he wanted to and, fuck you. and then um we like he's like i'll let you break since like you're obviously not as good as me he said that to me and then so i broke and then he started and he fucking you have to like call your shot on the first ball apparently i didn't know that was a rule and he's like oh i didn't call that ball so you can go for whichever one you want so I went for the one obvious, like the stripes that he made. And then like I started cleaning up the table and I looked like a crazy guy. Like I, I looked like actually good at pool because like I made like so many shots and he was getting so pissed. He was like, he was like, whatever, like, I'm just going to go to the restroom. I have to, I have to take a piss anyways. And he was like, don't cheat. And like he said that to me because I, me and Josiah were playing and he was watching <laughs> me and Josiah play. And I was like acting like I was cheating the whole time with Josiah. And Josiah went up to him and was like, watch out. He fucking cheats. He's a fucking cheater. I don't think he knew me and Josiah were buddies. Um, but he was like, yeah, I, I'm keeping my eye on him. Um, and so he went and took a piss. And like I made so many balls in a row. I actually looked like I sandbagged him. It looked like I was like cheating. Like I had like faked being really bad so I could beat his ass and pull um eventually he did end up beating me but it was really embarrassing because like he talked all this shit before and like was not much better than me at pool which is like hilarious and i haven't played pool in like 10 years 12 yeah. years or something since i was literally a toddler but after pool we're just loitering around whatever and i'm like okay i'm not taking a city bike i refuse to bike home right now i'm too tired so i'm like i'm gonna call a car whoever wants to get in the car can get in the car with me we relay that message Inya and Josiah are both like, no, we're going to we're going to city bike. We're both going to city bike. And I was like, OK, fair. And I was like, the car is almost here. So like if you're coming, you're coming. If you're not, you're going to city bike. So they're like, OK. But then right as the car pulls up Inya shows her boobies in the machine and this Uber that is already yelling at me is outside. And I'm like, I can't wait any longer. So I'm like, OK, Inya really does need to get those booby pictures. And it seems like. She's going to she wants to ride with me in this car. So I'm going to cancel this 
and get a new car. So I canceled it and got a new car. And I told Elsie, I was like, go tell them that the car is coming now. So they need to be outside now. And I was waiting on the curb and Elsie ran inside, told y'all that the car was coming. Y'all were taking more photos in the photo booth and the car pulled up and I was just like, okay, so they're city biking because they're not outside. They would have been outside because I gave them five minutes to get their asses outside to get to this car and y'all did not And then I get a t- I text um, in the group chat and Elsie's like, oh no, they know like that we left. They said they were going to city bike. And I was like, oh cool. Like I don't feel bad, but I'm going to let them know that we're on the car so they don't look for us or whatever. <laughs> and then Josiah text back to my text. I was like, we left by the way in the car and he was like, fuck. And I was like, you cannot be mad at me. Like I gave y'all ten minutes Dude, and two cars to get to the car. Was like it literally felt like me and Josie were in like a funny ass episode of Always Sunny. Cause like the way we like walked out and there was nobody on earth, <laughs> like it felt so funny. Like it was literally one of the best moments I've had in my whole life. Like just being like, okay, uh, hurry, hurry, and we were like, like not running because I'm not about to be running through a random bar, but we were like. We had fucking pep in our step because we were like, we yeah. got to get out of here. And then we got out and we were like. <laughs> we were like, am I tripping? Or is there Where literally no at? human Where on this at? street? Um, and it was the best thing ever. Yeah, it was. Best um, night ever. Last night was a movie. And then Inya, you're kind of turning into Christian in a way when like anytime you drink, you're like. I drink way too much. No, I, my tolerance up. is so much lower now. It's embarrassing. Literally, the second we got there, like my second drink in, I could have, I should have stopped there because yeah. at this point in my life, I only ever need two drinks. And then I'm like, I'm the drunkest I've ever been. I need to go to bed. I rallied so hard because I wasn't even like supposed to drink that night, but I had a beer because I, and I didn't even finish it or did I, I don't know if I finished it. You carried it. it around for so long. Yeah. I was like, I don't even like know if I want this anymore, but like whatever i'm just gonna try um but there's this new trend or something going around i'm sorry i farted there's this new trend going around on tiktok or something i don't know i've seen a couple tiktoks about it but it's apparently girls finding guys that listen to emergency intercom baby baby i have bad news for you that man is gay. There is, that is no a gay straight man. man listening to emergency like, intercom. Run. I, I mean, but like you're his beard. Y- you're like the straight like like. Well, yeah, but I'm like a face of it. Like, yeah, I'm the straight. Oh, so face you don't you don't it. practice what you preach? No. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. Um. Yeah, I saw that. The like um. What was it? She was like, "Who's your favorite?" And he's like, "I, I don't listen to that." Yeah, yeah. There were <laughs> two. There were two or three TikToks about it. There. Dude, I love. Uh, wait. I lied. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Honestly, I lied. I don't know who those fuckers are. I was like, "Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I don't know. Can I fuck, please?" <laughs> what were you doing? I just winked at him. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> you look so scary. Um, it's crazy how I'm the short one now in the episode. Look, you're like taller than me. Well, I've always been taller than you. It's, it's well, like in person, but well, not in the episode. Yeah, but you know? we've just done a better job of covering the fact that you and Kai are both five foot one. Well, I'm five three, so let's get that straight. And Kai I'm is not, four eight. <laughs> Or it's f- okay. Sorry, there's four videos, seven and a half. There's videos of the DJs that were the same. Oh, you were you were, on, you were on yeah, you were on a stool. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't on a stool. Yeah, you were. Yes, oh, you, you, were. you notice how in all those videos you can't see your lower half. Yeah, what's going on because with that? You're on stilts. You can't see Drew's either. You're on stilts. Yeah, because you have to be on a stool to be up two five three. I am six three. Okay, and that's not a joke. Now okay. you're just now you're really <laughs> now you're lying. lying. Okay. <laughs> What's loke? I don't know. Kai just said it. <laughs> Stop hey, Drew. Throwing. Fuck me. <laughs> Drew. Fuck off. Okay. Ser- serious question. Do you want to drop any more shit and fuck up the audio before we continue? Oh my God. <laughs> do you want to Serious lose question. Your do you want to fucking job? job after this? <laughs> yes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Here's my, my hot take of the week. I, oh, fuck off. <laughs> I, I don't care how. Out. Oh, wait, it's your jewel Hold paw. Me, it's your me, jewel that keeps falling. Dude, Look I thought at it was Drew's your. Drew's legs right now. Jesus Christ. Ew. Uh, <laughs> they're so red, too. You're like. <laughs> Gripping them together. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, I have to. This is how I, how I look when my and wig you know what's crazy? is hitting, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is how I'm going to look with that this damn is, toothbrush. This is me climax. <laughs> my toothbrush broke. And then you was like, do not do not ask questions if that thing disappears because I will be fingering myself I was like, I was like, that thing is because going to it, make me sp- freak it out broke, like, it broke and that it's shit, literally gonna make me spin like I, it literally I'm not gonna like lie. i'm not gonna lie when we were in the bathroom you saw i put it on my wiener to see what it would feel like <laughs> and it's crazy what did that feel like it let's just say my whole body went numb and i had a transcendental experience <laughs> really yeah i had like a outer body like astral projection moment let's just say it feels my like my clit is on anesthesia oh oh i I am actually straight, and I remember in like eighth grade, I, I was whoa. Playing. I know, like what? What? Do you mean? what? Don't don't debunk his straightness. Okay, you're projecting because that had nothing to spa- do with you. That, that is that not your space you. to claim. That is my job. Thanks, babe. Ooh, I was playing. <laughs> I think like uh, <laughs> Call of Duty Modern Warfare, like the first one. Okay, I mean, and I yeah, I've done that too. I've done that too. And I was like texting or something, and it was like. Oh, my, uh, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. It was on my cocky. Oh. And then I remember somebody like added me as a friend and it was like my homie. And it like. Made so he my, made you come. And it like felt hella good. And I was like, that's crazy. Me oh, when I'm in that one episode of Black Mirror. Everybody's had that experience. And uh, it, I had that with my Wii controller. If, yeah. If you're a guy, you have put <laughs> your Wii. I'm not kidding. Or you put the controller on your private parts and let people kill you. Yeah. <laughs> you just get bodied and, and rust. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what the fuck was I saying? <laughs> I don't know. I have Before to think about I that toothbrush, though. Yeah, the toothbrush. I need that toothbrush. Yeah. What That's were we something saying, I need in my life. What were we saying? About how I'm 6'4 and you're 5'11 or something. We're talking about you being on stools. Yeah, we're talking about you being 4'3. It was 4'8 before, but I'm not, there's no Anyways, idea. here is the take, my take. I don't care how bad a woman's art is, a man is not allowed to say it's bad. Okay. Because then that, I'm like, you're pushing it. Now now you're just like... This is misogynistic. Yeah, you're being misogynistic. Like, yeah. she could literally be, like, scribbling doo-doo caca on the walls, and I'm like, it's ugly, and I don't like that. But the second a man comes up next to me, and he's like, I don't like that, I'm like... Where is this coming from? Uh, really? Where is this actually yeah, like, coming like, from? Yeah, like, let's go deep in that psyche. Yeah. Where is that coming let's from? Let's find you a therapist. Yeah, you need help. I don't. I wish I remember what I saw. I think I saw someone critiquing a woman's art. And it's like a woman's art who I don't even fucking like. I'm like, now you're making me defend this girl. Because you shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> actually, maybe we need more men critiquing women's art so that more... Uh, women can then you know go defend crazy? that art. Me and Kai were just crying about this. We were. Holy yeah. shit. We were just like, we were like, dude, men like, just men being mean to women. Wait, I okay, now the message is all fucked up. You're straight, but you cry. You can do both. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're, are you, ew. Are you okay? Hey, babe, babe. Are you good? Oh my God. <laughs> Your jaw looks so good, Drew. Your jawline goes crazy right now. The videos from the from the DJ said I I was like, damn, my side profile is gnarly. And you were like, damn, compared to Drew's. No, I was literally looking at your jaw and then mine lack of any jaw. And I was just like, damn, I wish I had that. Comparison is the thief of joy or is a thief of joy. Oh my God. So don't compare yourself to me. Listen to like don't because compare where you don't compete. Don't compete with this because you will never. Oh, dude, and I, I mean thought you were going to say something win. to make me feel better for a second. I no. mean, it should make you feel better. Yeah. Just that, like, how is that supposed to make me feel I'm better? Because it's stupid unob- to compare your someone, yourself to someone so perfect. I'm an unobtainable so goal. I am the unobtainable <laughs> beauty standard for yeah. men. Like, And it's difficult. Like, look, It's actually shaking. even hard for me to keep up. And it's actually fucked up that you... Brought that up. That you what? would even come from me. How is it? I just am complimenting oh, you. Hey, don't cry. Don't you cry. Don't. No, Are real men serious? don't cry. Please stop. Like, actually, no. It's like grossing me out. Oh, my God. I'm never fucking him again. Wait a second. You guys fuck? All the time. Huh. Like clockwork. Damn. Clo- hey, clockwork. Call, call us clockwork orange. Because we're fucking. I've never seen the movie. Nice. I don't know what the fuck it means. Yes. Without me? No, Kai, I'm not going to massage your feet. Kai, I'm not going <laughs> to massage your feet right now. 
<laughs> like, Kai, I'm not going to, like, take your shoes off and play with your feet. <laughs> Kai, we're not going to take those. Ew! No. Put it on. Put, put that Put down. it back on. Put that Put down. that away. Put it away. Okay. Kai's actually, <laughs> Kai's, the thing I like about... <laughs> The thing I like about Kai is like his whole wardrobe is archived down to his socks. He's had them since what, like senior year. The thing I like about Kai is that he he. The thing I like about Kai is that he recycles, <laughs> and he uses his cum socks as the socks he wears yeah. every single day. And he, and, no, they're but, not. Okay, no. but. <laughs> 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 you actually, you actually blurring, checking. blurring it out. It's like a yellow square. <laughs> and, and the good thing is, he's just like he's the true form of like human evolution because his body could tell that it was having a hard time clawing through the like stiff socks. So his toenails grow at a rapid rate to claw through. Kai has very manicured feet. I would know because I want to play with them. <laughs> so. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, Kai. One time, I um, I think it was on the Reddit or something. But there was a picture of me in sandals and my toes were out. Oh. And someone was like, this bitch has never been caught with her toes looking fucked up. And oh, like, I was like, why are you keeping track of my toes? Why are but you it's keeping true. tabs? There will never be a photo of my there feet fucked up. There was emergency intercom Reddit drama. We need oh, to tap in. Okay, okay I didn't. So, did you get down to the bottom of it? No, but I I want to just like speak on it for a second. Yeah. I, you know, you've heard me a thousand times. I have begged for a cum tribute. Like, it is actually offensive that I haven't gotten one. And then have on the Reddit. Have you actually never had one in general? No, I know. It's crazy. I've had one before. And I don't even have a fucking blue check mark on IG, but that's another story. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. Now it's stacking up. It's too much. Um, no come true. No IG check. I know. Am I even a person? Yeah. It's fucking You're crazy. You're useless. You should have fucking existed. You should I actually know. die. I fucking know. And I know so many ways you could kill yourself today before like oh. 6 p.m. Oh, 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 I'm the bad guy now. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I've um, actually struggled with mental health stuff. Oh, <laughs> my God. Uh, like, where is the fun? Where's the laughter? Where's the joy? I'm just saying Literally it's you when you were struggling. Mental illness. <laughs> Other people's mental, mental illnesses are a thief of joy as well. Let's just say that. <laughs> we'll just say that real quick. Uh, I think I heard Nat laugh. <laughs> I think that was me laughing loud as fuck, but I can't tell. I heard like a... <laughs> oh, she was she's taking a big dumpy. Um, but I uh fuck what was I fucking saying? You were talking about the cum tribute, oh, bitch. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, so you want so the, bad you don't even remember. On the Reddit, like, how on the Reddit someone <laughs> posted a very inconspicuous thing and was like, Hypothetically, if I made a cum tribute for Drew, would I be able to post it here? And everybody was like, <laughs> yeah, everybody was like, was like No, do not. do not do that. That is insane. Please, please do no not put that here. No one wants to see it. Which, like, fair. Like, let them vote. And they said no. The person posted it anyways. Um, <laughs> it wasn't even a fucking real cum tribute. But people were still pissed. Yeah, so as f what I got from it was I went on the Reddit the other day and people were like... Pe so it was like, please know more about the drama. And I was like, oh, fuck, oh, what, did, what, what happened? Because, of course, I get terrified because, like... You know, like my like public figure, like as a public figure, like I'm just like I care about how I'm perceived because I'm a good person. And like, what is what are you doing, bitch? What? <laughs> um, but I saw that and I was like, what the fuck is this about? And then all the comments were like, it wasn't even real. It was suds like it, it was like soapy suds. And, they, and then like they were all arguing. And they were like, that's what they want you to think. So what I'm assuming is somebody posted the come tribute and then immediately everybody was like you're going to hell you should die like this is fucked up i didn't even get to see it um i didn't see it either um because I take it, another photo wait it was you did you guys not realize what's that? the point of a cum tribute being posted on you could just give it to him i wanted it to be a you surprise. wanted it to be a special moment. i need you to come into a see, cheesecloth and then cares. i'm gonna rinse it kai cares for me also drew he Instagram. wants you to be happy Gave me a blue check. It's coming in like a week, and I'm gonna get you one too. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's crawling around. I don't know if they can see that. Yeah, they can't see <laughs> he's, you. He's getting back in frame though, so they can see. It. <laughs> this is what. This no, is what pushed your, you over the edge. Don't hit your head again. Come on, little guy. Come on, let's get you back on the on the chair. 
But yeah, they're going to give you one too. They just want to make sure mine goes through and then. Okay. But they're giving Kai one and then they're like having it permanently in like the work where you do what your work is. It's a cocksucker, bitch ass ball fucker. Yeah. So I'm going to be I mean, honest. you, you win some, you lose some. So. Yeah, it's a good Burgers can't be choosers. <laughs> Are you pretending? Hey, he's tapped out. He's like. He thinks he's he thinks he's recording a podcast episode somewhere else. <laughs> he entered in like a parallel universe. <laughs> and, and I think it's a podcast and it's a universe where it's just him because like he's giving no space for. Oh, oh. Let's see how long it goes. Oh, oh, over. he's back. <laughs> I just was somewhere. Yeah, I could tell. T- today josiah <laughs> said a uh, bye like while we filmed and he did something that i found so funny and i hugged him and i genuinely was like uh, and i said to him i was like the day you die it's gonna be so hard for me <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is like that came from like such a real place like me saying that to him and like in my head it's an endearing thing to say but that's like the craziest it's thing so to- scary it comes from a very real place <laughs> um it is going to be a hard... It's going to be a hard loss to get through. Yeah. And I don't know if I'll manage. No, for sure. Drew will take me like two weeks. I was going to say like maybe 30 minutes for you. For me. <laughs> what? what? I, so, I mean, it wouldn't even be like a real sadness. It would just be like... Would I get like... Would I get a post and then like it's like swiping up and going right back to gr- grinder? Yeah, but yeah. it would be IG story. <laughs> It'd be a or maybe Twitter even notification my that he swipes away. <laughs> my Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> that I haven't used since 2014. I'll post you on my Snapchat. Maybe. I need to. Okay. Here's the thing. This is like An my Instagram one thing. Instagram reel. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, need, I need to be in highlights. So like when I die, everyone's got to throw me on a highlight reel mm. on their page. So then like even people who are trying to thirst follow you, the first thing they know is like, okay, so they've gone through loss. Because mm-hmm. this who's or if anything, they're going to be like, are, is this like his ex like he hasn't gotten rid of her on here yeah and yeah. then all the way at the end of the reel because they're gonna watch through the whole highlight thing mm-hmm. because they've got to see what what my vibe is and that and they're gonna be like oh thank god she's dead and then they'll find themselves being like oh my god i can't believe i just yeah that's fucked up why did, why did i think that? i actually don't think i would ever realistically be able to use the internet ever again if you died good like realistically i don't think i would no, you ever gotta you gotta make you gotta open up that gofundme for my oh, family the oh, gofundme yeah. is being open yeah 100 percent. but i would never be able to use the internet in the same capacity i don't think again. i would either because also i would see you all the time yeah and it would suck. yeah 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 i would if i see one more thirst trap edit of kai oh yes i'll kill myself fuck that and that's a threat and that, that is a threat that. and Ooh. you know what imagine all of the accounts swipe all of those down and they <laughs> delete them they're like oh sorry <sighs> i'm kidding you can keep them up but stop making them those were cool i say make probably more of those maybe there should be more footage of you so you should start filming yourself doing things okay what what <laughs> the hell are you saying okay. Um, no, piggybacking off of that, yeah, we DJ'd, and it was probably the most lit night of my life. Um, y'all I turned cried, it up, I was so happy. Y'all turned it up in a way <laughs> that I wasn't prepared for, dude. I had the most rancid vibe all day before because I was so I wasn't nervous and I wasn't anxious, but like something in me was like something's gonna go wrong something bad is gonna happen that sounds like Like, someone being anxious it no but it wasn't it wasn't i've had like really brutalizing like anxiety but this was like totally different i don't know what the feeling was and when i find a word i'll tell you guys but like it was gnarly and i think it was just like the fact that i was just like ruminating in my vibe all day alone that like really set me over the edge because i was just like sitting in the house all day waiting because i was like i don't want to fucking go out before and like do yeah. anything i just want to chill um i felt the same way it didn't really feel like nerves it but it was like an unpleasant yeah exactly feeling. exactly because i was like there's not much that we could fuck up like yeah it's not that hard um but the second we i even like when we were walking on the stage i was like i it was totally over it but like there i was a little anxious but it was so much fucking fun like it, there were so many fucking heads there. I actually couldn't believe that many people came out. Like, it was a literal blast. And we're doing it again. We're doing it again, simply. We like, have to. Easily. This was a test run. Yeah. But it was so much fun. We're going to do Coachella in 2023. 
That's what we're manifesting. I'm gonna do my own DJ set, but only uh, girls are allowed. We could probably, if you wanted to. Um, one of the people that threw it was like, "We want to throw another show for you guys." And I'm you not kidding. Do, I want to do like a like a girls a only set. event. You could do a solo set for sure. Yeah, but a um, girls only event. Sorry. Okay. Good Can luck. I pull up? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want the to ratio up? sounds fucking lit. The ratio sounds good. <laughs> yeah, the the ratio sounds on point. Two Wait, dudes. but I thought y'all were fucking. I like, love going to parties with good ratios. Yeah, the ratio at the bar last night was crazy. It was, it was hella good. dudes, bro. You need more like bitches. Yeah, there. more bitches would be good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just more. I need. Hey, I need this. I need more bitches in this room. <laughs> Like there's too Dude, much. I hate that word so much. Used bitches. in that context, yes. There needs to be more bitches here. Can we get some more bitches. Where are all the here? bitches? Maybe where like, are the bitches more. at? Are all the bitches at home? <laughs> like, Wait, this is me. This is me asking. Where are the bitches at? Okay. I mean, that's me asking. Yeah. What do you want us to read that as? Yeah. Say it. Can you? What's the, how's um? What's your straightest impression of that phrase? Hold on, what was I saying to you this morning? Um, why do guys get so bloody pressed <laughs> when another guy hits on them? Like, I take that as a compliment. <laughs> can you do the... Uh, Did you say bloody pressed? Can you do the do buy one? Oh, it's uh, like, you read that wrong. Oh, yeah, you read that wrong. Fuck. I'm straight. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> There's a lot of crazy wrong. things said yeah. in this world nowadays. There's a like, lot of crazy things being said in this world or these days. And like, what does that mean? <laughs> like, what is all the crazy things? Is the crazy thing being like told his that inside the inside of his brain? <laughs> dude, I got tagged so in that so many times. Press. Well, dude, the craziest thing is like four different people sending that to you and being like, "Yo, this is you. This guy. is you." I'm like, okay. that is the craziest <laughs> diss of all time. They were saying it. As like compliments, and I was like, "Y'all, hi." Um, there's a lot of crazy things being said in this world right now, but do not believe the rumors. You know what I'm obsessed I'm with? <laughs> the um, I need my sexuality to oh, be a rumor. <laughs> wait, um, what's what's up with the so what? No, I was just gonna be like, what's up with that vibe? Like, is she straight or like? <laughs> what's that vibe? Um, okay, so uh, walking around New York, I realized. That I am like recognizable from the back of my head. Like mm -hmm. I have such a distinct, disgusting rat's nest of a head or hair on my head that like people will notice me from the back. That's which how is I describe your so head. So funny. Rat's nest. Like you give like disgusting, <laughs> stinky rat's nest head. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just like I thought that was so funny because someone was like, I noticed you from the back of your head. And I was like, there's no way. And then at the event, someone else also noticed me from the back of my head. And I had Elsie take a picture. And I was like, oh, yeah, that looks like Let me, me because it's so gross. Mm. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, I just Dude, your hair funny. does what mine does, where it's like the pieces that are loose and not being like held down by grease and oils. Like all of these curl, and then back here it's just matted up, like from laying have, down. I think you have pretty hair, honestly. You do have pretty hair. You do. I I don't understand the the Drew has gross hair thing. I don't Thank see. You. It. I go with it to support you. Well, I I I Thank say you. that because I live with him and I see his uh, <laughs> regime. My regime. Your regimen. Regimen. They gotta change the the spelling of that word. Like, what is? I also I regime. like his hair because I. <laughs> that's your like. What's the deal with airplane food? <laughs> they gotta respell re regime. Upgrade. No, they like okay, actually, I'm not kidding. Like, why is airplane food and airport food? Those are the worst meals ever. But not yeah. for me. Not for me. Pam. Damn. I take it where I can get it. Oh, we know that. <laughs> oh, I remember. I have bitches. Hella bitches out oh here. Oh, my God. I got hoes in New York. The we'll thing is, why that. even bring that up? Because you can't really talk about it. I can't, but I just want to let people know that I got hoes out here. Me too. Like, everyone wants to fuck me. Like, ugh. That's like... the thing, though. Nobody hits on me. No one hits on me either. Because I think we're a couple. When we go out, yeah. everyone thinks we're yeah. dating. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, when we were in the airport and we like realized that, that was the funniest shit ever. Oh, yeah. Did we, we talk about that? I don't think so. We were in the airport and we were like, um, 
There's like, a video of it. Like holding each other and being like, babe, I'm scared. Like, or I don't know what we were doing. We were just being annoying. We were like we were being like the couples in no, line actually, at the we fair. We were just being like how we normally act. Like we were just like leaning on each other and like just being like physical, like not like in a weird, like annoying way. We were just like hugging God fucking <laughs> damn it. <laughs> um but in just like a normal way. And then like we like saw ourselves from like a third person's yeah, perspective and we were like, and we're like oh, oh we really look like a couple we're the annoying couple in the airport <laughs> no. that like is making out <laughs> we're the annoying couple in the amusement park lines that's like leaning on each other i'm scared i'm gonna get i, I have butterflies yes. what's that vetmont i bought some vetmont i think that looks like a tag that fell off of something that you picked up off the floor yeah i bought this it was six hundred dollars yeah does vetmont <laughs> exist it. anymore uh, yeah, yeah I think much. so. But really? didn't did Dimna start Vetmont? Uh, I don't think he started it. I think he was a creative director. Mm. Or he was like one of the head designers there. I don't know. You know, <laughs> don't come to me for information. But yeah, there we, we just saw each other and, and we were like, wait, this is weird. No. Yeah, like if I do that, like in public, like it's it doesn't read the way it reads to y'all. Yeah, like, it just looks like a, a couple like fake jerking being each really other. Really fucking off. gross and nasty in public. But that's okay. That's okay because there has to be that for the world to go around. That's my thing. That's my th whole thing is the reason why I act a fool in public is because people get to go home to their monotonous lives and talk to their partner or their children or their, or their parents. parents or their friends and say, I saw the craziest people in my life today. And it gives them a little conversation to spark some joy in their life to make fun of me and i'm okay with that i know that's like uh in the video of me on the plane when we were landing yeah <laughs> uh so many people were commenting like i just don't find that funny like and just like being like 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 annoying like to be annoying and being like that's so no if i saw that i would be so annoyed personally it's i like, would not have let that slide if i was <laughs> next to you and it's like personally you should shut the fuck up because there's a chance you've been around that kind of behavior in a really serious way and you don't do anything about it and yeah. you just like look at your iphone and like continue to scroll tiktok and you don't care yeah. like never i don't feel like ever ever have we been in public being like stupid and someone's been actually upset by it like yeah I can't think of a single time someone's actually been annoyed because I feel like we read the room pretty well. Also, me, like, that was, like, me, the equivalent of me clapping if the airplane landed. Yeah. Like, it, it, that, it that's, like, the similar that amount of, like, obnoxious <laughs> standing up and acting like I'm DJing on a plane. Like, <sighs> I was listening to, someone asked me that. Oh, oh yeah, it what was song in, were you listening to? I was listening to Fantasy by Mariah Carey. Yeah. Um. Oh, this. Just surrender to the universe. It's easier that way. What made you think that? Did you make that up? Yeah. What the fuck? I feel no. I I, I think I've heard that somewhere. You yeah, from me. Okay. I think that's like what the Buddha said. Yeah. I, Just I, surrender to the universe. I think it's, it's easier that way. I think it's like a big religious like ideology. That, oh. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> 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 Ma'am, I thought you were like a real slut. Surrender. That was just on the ground of Happy Nine Nine. <laughs> this was? Yep, like 40, 49 minutes yeah, ago. Yeah, this shop is lucky. 40, that he did that. 41, okay. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. <laughs> I thought you were going to really read something 47, from your phone. <laughs> like, 48. Oh, Bama Rush. Um, oh my god! Like the sorority shit. Have y'all been seeing that? Is that all? Wait, what's a sorority? A sorority is like the <laughs> girls getting together. Sororities fucking scare me, and I don't fuck with those videos of those girls dancing. It freaks me out. I mean, yeah, are you talking about like the doors opening and them all like? <sighs> oh no! That's, Have you seen that see, one? That's the energy we need to take back to sorority. It's because now they're like people are, are no, like into it. I feel it's mm -hmm. it's a new. It's always been a thing, but I think TikTok is just now getting a hold of the culture, and it's just like now spreading and get being put into everybody's minds. But like. Like, Southern sorority culture is crazy. It's, like, I mean, frat culture, too, but, like, sorority culture is on a different level. And, like, 
um it's just very fascinating to see like the ins and outs of it and then also see like how popular it has become on the internet because like i feel like even three years ago like it wasn't a hot take to be like sororities are terrifying like that was like funny to say and now i feel like it's almost like reverted back to being like sororities are like cool yeah no Mm. that's the energy i'm feeling from it i feel like hella people are like i love this like Mm. this is so awesome but i'm like this is probably one of the scariest and most lifeless videos I've seen in my life. Yeah. Like all of them doing that one dance. Mm-hmm. And I'm I like, I don't know which one you're referencing. It's like, the, it's that one song. It's like, it's like, I can't, I can't think of the name of the song. I know which one you're it's like talking an, about. Is, is, is that the song that's being used or did I, I just so, make that up? I think so. I think so because they're doing the dance. You guys are lying. All of the girls are doing the dance where they get up and they're like doing that, like yeah, yeah, and like they're they're so scary. And for some reason, them using that those videos and it being like a bunch of white girls doing the dance, it feels like I'm watching like a a new Jordan Peele movie unfolding on TikTok. Yeah, it feels a bit like Midsommar or something. Yeah, it's like it's like scary. I'm like, whoa, it's culty. Well, I love women being women. And finding sisterhood in each mm-hmm. other and being able to be Shouldn't you like fuck with frats though? Because you're like a boy. So I don't know why you're like. I, well, I just love women being We like to bond over powerful. us specifically. Oh. Um, and it's just different for me. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's why. Are I you to c- trying to say I'm misogynistic? I'm not. We didn't say anything. The one saying that. But if you feel that way. I just feel like I'm being pitted say, against by like I will the two say, men in the room. And I know Drew feels the same way. I'm a little bit disappointed. Yeah. You're, why are your legs crossed now that you're talking like this? <laughs> We're just and disappointed your hands, you're like, in you. <laughs> well. If you really respected women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we're not telling you, you we're not telling you what to do. It seems like it though. But so we're not. Like we're not. You would just respect women. Mm-hmm. Oh, it it's just, it's just that like, easy. Yeah. It doesn't feel like we're <laughs> getting that from you right now. Oh, I were like, wait, wait, are you the women now? Like, am I? No, just- no, my me, my authors and Kai. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm like a real person now, right? What? What? You know, I'm a real person. No, you're one of my alters. <laughs> <laughs> You've been working on this podcast, <laughs> working. But I've let you take a front seat because I was like, you know what? Like, we'll share the spotlight a little bit. Like, but like when you go away, you go. Oh, back look, in. look. Now he's like, he's realizing he's You're not, not real. real. You've never been oh real. Oh, my God. You are. He has to work right now. Oh, he's going to. Oh, my God. He's going to kill himself. Oh, my God. He's dramatic. He Ugh. can't even do it. You're a pussy. You're not going to do it. Well, now he's just throating <laughs> his fingers. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the big surprise of the episode. Kai is an altar. The big surprise is we're not in LA and I'm never going back. We're never going back unless we're begged to. Unless you unless you <laughs> want to beg for it. Unless the people of LA need us back. Who wants to buy The boys are now? back in town! The boys are back in town! I, am so, I literally was planning last night. I was like, damn, when I get back to LA, that's the first thing I'm posting. Damn. Is that song. You better the keep- boys are back! <laughs> Damn. You better stick to it because that's hilarious. I was gonna post that song last night because I was like, My damn, that song is soaking. Yeah, because you fucking throated it. Um I was gonna post it last night and I was like, wait, I have to save this. Mm-hmm. The boys are back in town. <laughs> so... The boys are back in Dude, our friend group is just soundboards. Like that's all we are. We are fucking soundboards. We are terrifying. We I'm like, we don't mean. kill the vibe as if we don't walk down the street all being like, oh, oh my God. Yeah, literally, we, like the other day we were walking down the street and I was like, it was silent. oh my God. And every single one of us, like one after another, it just triggered a chain reaction. And every single one of us just had to make the sound. And we had to do it better than the person before Yeah, us. and we just like, kept going. It was and like I, a competition. Yeah, and, and then I realized, I was like, holy shit, we are psychos. Like, we just, like, hear one of us make a loud sound and we have to make the you know, next ladder sound. we're crazy, but we are free. Think we are it. free. We, we do have free. fun. We love ourselves. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, we need to do media. We need to do media. Um, media. Media of the week. Media of the week. 
Okay, my media of the week was mine and Kai's DJ set. Yeah, go check out the videos online. It was I fucking could, lit. I could um, of the week. I could upload it somewhere. That's me if I was British and I've been I was doing about a radio doing that. Or should we gatekeep the? Yeah. We need to gatekeep the mix. We should gatekeep it. We need to gatekeep it. Um, <laughs> I'm crazy. But anyone <laughs> else okay. but you by the Moldy Peaches. <laughs> We threw that song in the set. It was super cute. You can't keep the set. Flex. Super, super duper cute. Um, well, it's all over the internet because it was an iconic moment. Um, Me when I think it was an iconic moment. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, wait, why did we beep over at the car? Literally, Drew said something uh, to me and it came off in my head. Like he was being like, I, what was what was it, dude? It was like um, <laughs> you made a comment. You were like, I've never been to that side of the city, like in the financial district. And I like made a comment where I was like, Yeah, well, you don't go where you don't belong, and you don't belong in the financial district. And I think like, I said like, Okay, Mrs. City Girl, or something. You know, like you were like, Oh, okay. You did no, you did the thing where you you say something, and it's kind of like real but it's like not I, I swear on my entire life there was no emotion behind my dude joke. i think because you were so monotone in it, it felt like you were like annoyed that i told you you shouldn't go to the financial district and he oh was yeah like, you were like you shouldn't go and then i was like city okay you were like okay mrs here. enya the local like oh, whatever yeah. <laughs> yeah like and it came off so real and i don't even know what i said and then you were like i was like oh not you being mad at me actually yeah. fucking saying that to you right now and i was like i was joking please please and then we all argued joking. about where the empire state building was um okay the empire state building is ribbed for your pleasure Tea. no that's the chrysler building the chrysler building is ribbed um for your okay so <laughs> life is perfecto cfcf CF is literally a classic um and then the last song i need to find it um let's just say where the fuck is it i don't know it by its title Well, I can't find it, but we'll just do Raymond Scott, um, Sleepy Sounds for Baby Volume 1. Um, just go listen to that little album. It's really cute. It's like sleepy time music. And then for show, I haven't really watched anything. On the airplane, I watched... Um, fuck, what did I watch? I wasn't there. Oh, fuck, what did I watch? What did I watch? What did I watch? I have it saved in my letterbox. I'll start mine though. Uh, summertime, the Sundays. Automatic by Hikaru Utada. I think I already said that. I love you always, forever. Donna Lewis, West End Girls by Pet Shop Boys. Cause duh, like quite literally. Oh, you were watching Infowars on the plane. Um, Drew. and then this uh, Masayoshi Takanaka song, but I can't read it, so you just guess. We it actually says, are. The info world, the, we're the info wars for like the gay girls and the gays. <laughs> <laughs> like that's literally all we. I are. don't know what that is. Oh, and then movie is the best movie ever, Mermaids. What a, a cast! Cher, Winona Ryder, oh, and Christina Ricci as I, a baby. I watched Spencer. Right, bye. Um, oh, Spencer, Spencer so was good. awesome. Tell them I'm not well. Tell them I'm not well. Tell them I'm not well. And then I watch the unbearable weight of massive talent, which brings me to my last point. Why don't we have actors like Nick Cage um, in society more? It doesn't feel like we have just like super cool people doing super cool things anymore. Um, I think the movie star is dead. Fully the movie star is dead. They're all becoming influencers because they want a piece of my fucking pie. Well, guess what, bitch? You're not going to get any of it. I am my own person. I invented this shit. All the fucking things you're doing, I've been doing for eight years. Tap in. Tap yep. in. Try to try to tap in. Right, you can't have tweaking. this. You Bye, can't guys. fucking have this, okay. bitch. Okay. Thank you guys and, so much uh, for watching. Oh, my, my God. My media is the sound that... <laughs> my media is the sound... <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> What, what's your meaning? My media is the sound that Drew makes when I. Okay, uh, don't close back up. Okay, yeah, bye. <laughs>